Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. A quiet start to the first weekend of February. We're going to continue again to see some decently quiet conditions for the time being. We do still possibly stand the chance of some showers into later on tonight and especially into around portions of early tomorrow morning. And so far, it doesn't look like a huge threat, but we could be seeing the possibility of maybe some thunderstorms mixed in with that. We're also looking at the potential of both some winter weather near the Mid-South, not necessarily in the Mid-South, but then we also get into the possibility of wandering close to some severe weather, maybe. It's, again, a possibility for right now. Doesn't look like anything huge, but it does definitely need to be monitored. That's what we'll be doing here at News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the weekend and into the early part of next week, so you definitely want to stay tuned for more on that. Welcome to Weather Overtime. If you've never been here before, this is our exclusive online video weather blog helping you stay informed with what's going on across the Mid-South and points beyond. So thanks a lot for dropping on by. Seven-day forecast down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. It's available at wreg.com slash weather. If you'd like to contact me about something, email address readily available right here at austin.onic at wreg.com. If you've never tuned in here before, again, the forecast information at the bottom portion of your screen, scrolling along in the blue bar and social media information in the red bar underneath that. Let's see where you're from. Drop your location and and if you've got a weather report especially, put that into the comments section. Let us know what the temperatures are like. If you've got a weather station out there, let's see wind speed, wind direction, cloud cover. If you've got some rain or snow or anything like that over the last few days from your rain gauge, let's see that. And also, if you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see those. We'd love to show them around to everybody on netcast like this. And if you've got them, please share them, especially on, again, social media. We'd love to know more about what's going on out there. Coming up, we'll show you some of your pictures that you sent in via social media and a little bit more about where you can send them coming up in the near future. So stick around for more on that. Got any questions about things? Again, email me, email address of that direction. And welcome to everybody else who's checking in so far this morning across much of the Mid-South. Forecast in a nutshell, again, in the blue bar down here, but also here. Mostly cloudy throughout much of the rest of the day today. Chances of rain will start to kind of wander into the area as we go toward dinner time tonight. The best possibility of anything involving showers will be late tonight, past sunset, and into overnight as we go into very early tomorrow morning. But so far, does not look to be a major possibility of problems. Not flash flooding, not severe weather, not winter weather, or anything like that going on. But the roadways may be wet by this time tomorrow morning, so please keep that in mind if you're going to be doing anything driving tomorrow morning. So again, we'll keep you updated on that throughout the rest of the evening. But most of the day should be dry. It's going to be this evening and overnight, and then the rain starts to clear the area as we get into tomorrow morning. So stick around for more on that. Think you've got problems? At least you don't have this to deal with. Some of the worst weather in the country. Mount Washington Observatory in New Hampshire. The observatory deck, difficult to see with all the snowfall out there. Our touch screen appears to be working a little bit too well this morning. Sorry about that. View from the Potomac River and toward the National Mall in Washington, D.C. Inside the Beltway, plenty of blue skies, maybe a few clouds high thin clouds off in the distance back toward Chesapeake Bay. A little bit closer to the Mid-South area, more cloud cover, but some sunshine making its way through Heidelberg Elementary on Clarksdale, Mississippi via the Weatherbug Network cameras at this time. Debbie Perdue, good morning. 19 degrees in Vail, Tennessee. Thank you very much. Don't think I've ever been there before. Thank you very much on that. Linda Lazar Alio, hope I'm saying that correctly. Calm morning in Arlington, Tennessee. And welcome to everybody else. Cloudy and 31 degrees in Gosnell, Arkansas. Sharon Crowell, thank you very much uh, for that one into the area there. Around the area of Germantown, back toward the towers of Poplar and Mendenhall, Poplar Pike and Germantown Parkway, right along the railroad tracks there, seen from the water towers north of Germantown High School. A little bit of light making its way through, so we don't have totally clouded over overcast conditions, but we do have some chilly numbers out there. And early this morning, we did see the occasional flurries showing up on Storm Tracker 3S radar. But here's the thing we were not seeing any reports of snow down toward the ground, and here's a good reason why. This is bone dry air for this time of the morning. So if anything was up here 
dropping on down toward the surface. It was falling into that very dry air. So this, again, we need to get a lot more moisture-rich air to move into the Mid-South before we get anything in the way of snow to make it all the way down. Temperatures are good for snow, no question about that. Air pressure, no question. But again, very dry conditions out there. That's where we see the potential for little, if anything, going on in the way of snow showers because it just basically is too darn dry out there for the time being. Uh, 15, North Chicago, Michelle G. Whitehart. Thank you very much uh, for checking on in for this morning. Just looks drab. Nancy Allen in Tippa County. Thank you very much uh, for that one. I see Chicago's cold. Yes, indeed. No question about that. Shante McCoy Williams. Thank you very much for checking on in for this morning out there. From downtown Memphis, again, we have a little bit of sunshine, mainly cloud cover from our Cotton Exchange camera over downtown Memphis and the view from in and around Baptist DeSoto camera, I-55 in South Haven. Some blue skies making its way on through, but otherwise mostly cloudy skies across much of the Mid-South. Here's a look at Storm Tracker 3S radar. And again, seeing those winds coming in from out of the south, we are transporting in just enough moisture to be detected by radar. And again, ramping up the sensitivity, we can see that was really tiny amounts of moisture several thousand feet up. But down toward the surface, you're not going to see anything in the way of moisture under this around West Memphis or back around I-55 west of the Mississippi River because, once again, it's just too darn dry for anything at this time. Now, earlier this morning... We did manage to see a few echoes showing up into around extreme northeastern Mississippi, around I-22, Tupelo, Corinth, Guntown, seeing a little bit of some light snow showers. Those have dissipated and moved away from us and into around northwestern Alabama. What was left of them a few hours ago continuing that direction, but right now we're not seeing anything else across the area on Storm Tracker 3S. What we need is more moisture to come up from the Gulf of Mexico. And so far, we're just not seeing a lot of that at this point in time. We're seeing a little bit of activity into and around the Gulf, but beyond that, we're just not getting a lot of activity for right now. And a lot more of this moisture is going to have to increase over the next several hours for us to pick up any more chances of rainfall, which will be happening into later on tonight. So keep the umbrella handy because you're going to be needing that. And our next storm system is on the way from the northwest. And this is going to be starting to interact with some of that moisture coming northward. So back into the Midwest, we could be looking at several inches of snow from back around the panhandles all the way up to the Great Lakes. So far, it does not appear to be a threat for us, but in southern parts of Missouri, we do have a few echoes of snow showing up. You can see some of the gray colors right there. A little bit of activity going on in the way of snow across north portions of Kentucky, back into southern Illinois and southern parts of Missouri picking up a few more snowflakes, but once again, very dry up there for anything to be reaching the ground at this point in time. 28 degrees, Fayetteville, Tennessee, Veronica Miller Windows. Thank you very much uh, for that weather report out across the area. Kind of warm in Tunica, Mississippi, Cordera Meadows. Well, ho hopefully the thermometer is a little bit warmer where you are because it looks pretty chilly out there for right now. Mid to upper 20s across much of the Mid-South to lower 30s on WeatherNet 3 live Real-time on your side weather showing again some pretty chilly numbers. Fortunately, winds at this time are fairly light, so we don't have much of anything showing up in the way of wind chills. We do have some wind chills sometime today. Ole Miss and Oxford, you had winds gusting over 10 miles per hour, so you had wind chills briefly on campus around Oxford at Ole Miss into around the teens this morning, so a little bit on the brisk side out there into and around the Mid-South area. Let's go ahead and run the numbers into the rest of the day. Lunchtime temperatures in the high 40s across much of the area, and again, continuing to see mostly cloudy skies, maybe a few lower 50s across portions of the Mid-South, but mainly I think it's going to be mid to upper 40s for rest of the area. Now, through tonight, the moisture increases, so instead of being several thousand feet up, it gets a lot closer down toward the surface, and that means we'll see rainfall across the area as we get into Saturday night, and unfortunately, early on Sunday morning. So if you have any plans for travel overnight, this is what you may have to deal with, some wet streets, Definitely want to slow it down, allow for a little bit of extra time to get to where you're going and a lot of extra space between you and the vehicle in front of you. Now, too warm for anything but rainfall. There may be the possibility of some snow showers north of us in the next couple of days. Through tomorrow morning, again, lower to mid 40s to mid to upper 30s around northeast Arkansas. Drier air starts to make its way on through, so we get rid of most of the rainfall coming on through the area by about mid to late morning tomorrow, and then mostly cloudy skies for most of the day in the morning, clearing out a little bit into the afternoon. Now, through tomorrow afternoon, there is the possibility 
of a remnant amount of moisture from this latest system to come on through. And Dyersburg, back to around Paducah, say Kennet, Zenith, Cape Girardeau, Poplar Bluff, you may see the potential of some snow showers taking place into early Sunday evening. But beyond that, I don't see too much of anything else happening and no accumulation expected out of that. Now, next couple of days, some very interesting scenarios shaping up with our next storm system beyond that, more vigorous, heading our way into around the early portion of this next week. So on Saturday, today, we don't see anything going on throughout the rest of the day in the way of showers or thunderstorms of a severe nature. Again, the severe threat over here, this area of green is not marginal. This is just a generic thunderstorm threat. And into tonight, from Lafayette County in Mississippi to around Phillips County in Arkansas, points south from there, we may see the possibility of some thunderstorms late this evening into overnight. So I would not be surprised to hear a rumble of thunder with some of these thunderstorms that get going. Tomorrow, the threat goes out of the Mid-South area into around much of Alabama, east central areas of Mississippi, even southwestern Georgia. Now, coming up into Monday, especially Monday late, we see that threat of thunderstorms once again starting off well to our west and then moving our direction as we get into Monday evening and around Tuesday morning. Once again, there's no severe weather detected on this from the Storm Prediction Center. This is their forecast which we bring to you, which you can access easily from their website if you'd like to find out more about where this information comes from. This is what we pass along to you to say this is the potential that we see over the next few days. This is not trying to panic anybody. This is our way of trying to make certain you, our viewers, are informed as to what's going on so you can make proper decisions and get prepared ahead of time for any inclement weather that may be heading on through. So for Monday night, we could see the possibility of thunderstorms there is no severe weather in the forecast for the time being, but Monday night into around Tuesday morning, we need to watch this as the system comes on through with a lot of energy mixing in with the moisture off the Gulf. This could be causing some problems with us into around the area coming up through about Monday evening. Now, part of the storm system down here, the more vigorous amount of energy mixing in with the more unstable, warm, and humid air, that's going to be our main threat as we go from Monday into Tuesday. Monday night into Tuesday morning could be the possibility of some snow showers on the northern side of that system. The colder air up here will change some of that moisture riding over the top of it to the potential of snow showers. And that's going to be, again, from Monday night into around Tuesday. And a pretty wide swath of that possible from the Appalachians all the way back into the Plain States, we could be looking at some pretty significant snowfall of maybe several inches coming through in this area. Now we also see again in the white and bluish purple that snowfall potential here. Notice these contours shaping up here. That's more freezing rain and sleet or ice potential out there. As we go from Tuesday night into around Wednesday morning, just north of the Mid-South area, from around Cincinnati all the way back to just around Tulsa, Fayetteville, into around Harrison, Arkansas, south of I-44 and Springfield, Missouri, there appears to be a pretty good possibility of some freezing rain or sleet shaping up, which means between the Mid-South and, say, St. Louis, or the Mid-South and Springfield, Missouri, we could be looking at some dicey traveling conditions coming on through. And the dividing line between that with cold air to the north, warmer air to the south, means that we should see a sharp drop-off between the chances of freezing rain, sleet, or snow here and the possibility of anything involving severe weather down to the south and or rainfall down here. So again, could this fluctuate one direction or the other? Sure, absolutely. But for right now, the potential does exist for some winter weather close to the Mid-South area, if not in the Mid-South. Dyersburg, Boot Hill, Jonesboro, north of that line. I would watch this very carefully to see what goes on. We'll be getting some colder air in here throughout the rest of the next several days, but it doesn't look like anything huge happening at this time. Mid to upper 40s today, mostly cloudy skies, and that drizzle potential begins later on this evening. Should be done by the time we're finished with daybreak tomorrow morning around 
8 o'clock by the time CBS Sunday morning is on. And then just partly cloudy to mostly sunny skies expected there. Monday, National Weather Person's Day. Forget about Groundhog Day. A true American weather holiday coming up on Monday for all the meteorologists and weather observers out there. So again, thank you to everybody for doing those type of duties out there. Rest of the forecast shows mostly sunny skies for National Weather Person's Day coming up into Monday. But then more clouds start to make their way on through late Monday. Now on Monday evening, I talked about the possibility of thunderstorms. You see a 0% chance here. That's mainly for, again, the fact that it's during the day that we're not expecting the chances of rainfall. Late Monday evening into early on Tuesday, that's where we see the potential of showers, possibly some thunderstorms coming up. This looks to be, if it continues on this current trajectory, maybe, again, the possibility of an overnight situation shaping up. It doesn't look huge, but it definitely does look like something to watch out for. And again, so far, we do not have any severe weather in the forecast. But Monday night into Tuesday, that's where we need to watch out for that. Now, turning cooler as we go toward midweek, and again, some of that cold air could mix with the moisture to give us the possibility of some snow showers into and around areas north of us will be watching that. Otherwise, temperatures remain very much on the almost normal side, upper 40s to lower 50s throughout the foreseeable future. That's pretty close to where we need to be for this time of the year, early February. That's almost spot on normal, as a matter of fact, for this time of the year. So not doing too bad out there where that's concerned. Now, again, Skywarn Spotter meetings coming up. If you'd like to know what to do, before, during, and after severe weather. These are the meetings you want to attend to get more information about that. These are just the first four. There'll be more of them coming up, including ones for Shelby County and Memphis. We'll tell you more about that. You can go to this website to get more details about where to check in. And these are taught by the National Weather Service in Memphis. You can also ask questions of them. They'll have contact information on here. We'll update this throughout the next several weeks. There's about a baker's dozen of these around the Mid-South that they schedule at very locations to make it as evenly fair as possible for people to be able to get to these things and attend them. So if you'd like to know more about this, stay tuned again to News Channel 3 and especially here to our website and our social media channels, and we'll keep you updated on that. Thanks to everybody for some great pictures out there from the eclipse that happened earlier this week. Fred Style 88 from the campus of the University of Mississippi in Oxford, a beautiful view of the super blue blood moon from areas around the 31st from earlier this week. Very nice view of the last sunset of January 2018 in southwest Carroll County from TN underscore WX. Thank you very much for that. And popping over the pond, Memphis underscore Tom, a beautiful view of sunset on his way to London town. Thank you very much for checking in from overseas, Governor. Really nice of you to send that in. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see them, but we can't show them unless you send them. So again, something for you to make you way into the area. Uh, Mr. Thailand, thank you very much. 23 degrees Celsius, a little on the mild side over in Thailand. Still don't know how to pronounce your name, but thank you very much again for sending that along for right now. Snowboarding at Mission, Texas. Sounds like a fun time down that direction. Uh, let's see, Mike Smith, thank you very much for that. If that's the Mike Smith of AccuWeather, welcome to the show. Thank you very much for tuning along. Again, if you have anything to send along to us, we'd love to see it. Aonic underscore WREG3 or Aonic no underscore necessary on Instagram. Austin Onik WREG on Facebook, and tons of information available there. Also, if you can't pick us up online or on TV this weekend in the Mid-South, dial us up on the radio, East Arkansas Broadcast Network Stations, Oldies 102.3 and Country 92.5. Great opportunity to learn more there. And I'll be back on the air with Bob and Josh coming up bright and early on Monday morning at 8 o'clock for more updates on your forecast there. That'll do it for this edition of our Saturday morning weather overtime video blog. Thanks to everybody for dropping the locations and your weather reports into the comments section. Do reports again for later on tonight. We'll have snow birding in around the area. Mike Smith, thank you very much. Snowboarding sounded fun too. In Texas, I was a little hesitant about that for there. We'll have more details on your forecast coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10. So stay tuned for more on that. And of course, throughout the rest of the weekend, updates on the potential for stronger weather heading our way, winter weather north of us, and otherwise a fairly chilly start to February in the Mid-South. All of that updated tonight on News Channel 3. So stay tuned for more there. There. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining the weather experts for more information on your forecast. And stay tuned for a lot more with News Channel 3 on air and online.